Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me. Time for another uh, little card, a little catch up. As you can see, I've not cleaned my gel press. Brilliant, Tracy. It's still covered in brown paint. That's hilarious. So I start and it's still covered in brown paint. Let me just see if I've got one that's just a little bit cleaner to save us cleaning that because I'm actually going to be working with the gel press today. So let me just see if I've got one a little bit cleaner than that. Trust me, my gel presses are not clean. But I don't really want brown. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm using a five inch by seven inch gel press. And I've got a piece of card, a piece of white smooth card, which is four and a half inches by six and a half inches. So, and we're going to create another simple card. So welcome, I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you for joining me. Whatever time of day you're watching, welcome. So, oh, it's so hot here, honestly. It takes me all my time to think it's so warm. Um, I've, I'm taking a break from the garden because I ache all over. I'm actually having a border done, so I thought I'd take a break from the garden. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stencil, which is called Abundance, and it's stencil number 85. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that stencil onto my gel press. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use alcohol inks, but I'm going to use a very limited palette. So I'm going to use dandelion, aquamarine and limeade. Now if you want you can do lots of multicolours for this but I just thought I would pair it down and use minimal colours. So we're going to go with the dandelion first. So I'm just adding the dandelion to my blending tool. Now what you need to remember when you're using alcohol inks is you need to work in a well ventilated space. So you need to make sure that your windows are open and that you're well ventilated because there is an odour to the alcohol inks. So please make sure that you've got those windows open and that you're well ventilated. Now at the moment you can't see anything on the gel press because my gel press is stained so I'm using dandelion and my gel press has got some staining so you can't see anything at the moment. But what I'm doing is I'm going over the stencil with the dandelion alcohol ink. Now, what a lot of people do is they just tip the alcohol on here and do it that way. I like to do it this way because it's more controlled for me. It's just the way I am in my head. I like it to be more controlled and I can place it. So I'll just leave that open for the moment because I'm going to use it. And then I'm going to use the Limeade. But please, please remember to work in a ventilated space. Just knocking my baby wipes all over the place. I think this bottle has been used. And when it was used on a workshop, I don't think the lid, the lid was closed properly. So let's just clean that up. I can clean that up later. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use some limeade. So just add some green and we're just going to place that over the stencil randomly. So you're not thinking about it too much. You're creating a background, so nothing too complicated. And then I'm going to go in with the aquamarine. So using my aquamarine. The aquamarine will show up a little bit more because the colour's not so pale. So I'm just hoping the paler colours will show up as well. So just... going over the whole stencil with the alcohol ink. Now the alcohol inks are wonderful because they dry really quickly. So I like that about them. So I love the fact that they dry really quickly. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of dandelion. I think there's a little bit of skin there. We don't 
from the so I'm just going to add a little bit of the dandelion and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this stencil now the alcohol inks really dry really quickly and what you can do is you've got alcohol on there you could perhaps use some uh, alcohol blending solution and you could probably get another print so you could put the alcohol blending solution on there turn it over and you'd get another print so you could do that as well so let me just lift this up just so that you can see I've got a pattern on there on my gel press now imagine doing that in lots of multicolors. It would look absolutely brilliant. So we've gone for a limited color palette on this. Let me just close those lids just so that that alcohol you're not you're not getting any, you know, the aroma all around your room. So just close those lids up. And because this dries really quickly, it means that I can work with it pretty quickly as well. But I just love how you've got that print on there. Just works beautifully. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to use some Snowflake White Paper Artsy Paint. Now what I tend to do with this is I tend to put the paint on one side. I don't put the paint on here because you'll lift the alcohol. So what I want to do is I prime my brayer let's just move that along a bit I prime my brayer with paint and then I go over the gel press and just grab a, a piece of scrap card just so that you can brayer off that excess paint and what you need to remember when you're doing this is you should be able to still see when you put the paint on you should still be able to see the pattern underneath if you can't see the pattern underneath then you're using too much paint so if you can't see the pattern underneath when you add the paint you've got too much paint you need to see the pattern so we'll just get some copier paper and what we can do if you've got any dexterity problems you can just go over with your brayer so if you can't rub with your hand, just go over it with your brayer if you've got those dexterity problems. But just give it a nice firm rub. Then you lift and then you've got a beautiful, beautiful print. Just look at that for a print. Absolutely glorious. Right. Let's just see if we've got another piece of card so I can show you. Let me just see if I've got another. Yes, I have. So let me do one in multicolours for you. Just so you can see in multicolours. So pink, purple, blue, orange. Let me do it in some multicolours for you. So I'll just get another little pad for the alcohol ink. And let's do it in some colours for you. So we'll add some of that orange. And I'll tell you what these colours are. That is Valencia. So just add some Valencia all over your gel press what's my next colour I can hardly open the lids I think that one's a little bit tight this one is raspberry so Valencia and raspberry oh what a lovely concoction sounds like ice cream so just apply that over as I say you can tip them on like this if you like but I find that less controlled. Everybody's different. Every instructor, every tutor, everybody does different things. So whatever works for you, works for you. Don't worry if you don't do it the same way as somebody else does it. It doesn't matter 
one jot so we're just going to add those three colors we're not going to add the yellow blue and green let's just try those colors just so when you're doing your techniques and you're just having a go you can see it in different colors just so you can see that right let's lift that up Whew, i am so hot i cannot tell you but look can you see that why am I asking if you can see that? As if you're going to answer me back. I feel like I'm doing a live workshop. So you can see that beautiful. Oh, just glorious. Glorious. So what we're going to do now. <coughs> excuse me, coughing. <coughs> what you're going to do is then prime your brayer. So you've got your brayer primed. And then you're going to add your paint over the top. Take off the excess paint and then go back over and keep removing the excess paint until you can see that print underneath. I can see that print underneath now. Then I can press that on there. <coughs> Just give a press with my fingers. And again, if you've got dexterity problems, press your copy of paper over the top and give it a, a bray with your bray. Oops, now I've just knocked all my alcohol inks all over the place, like you do. <coughs> so just move this down there and just go over with your bray. So that's just if you've got dexterity problems. If you can't rub with your hand or the back of your hand, if you've got dexterity problems. <coughs> Gorgeous just gorgeous look at them prints absolutely glorious right we're going to move that out the way we could let's see if there's anything else on there let's see if there's any other print on there and you know what i like about this most is that i don't have to use yuppo paper so I can use just normal card, tissue, rice paper. I can use anything and it doesn't have to be Yupo paper. And for me, that is so appealing. I just love it. So we're just going to see if there's anything on there. There might not be anything on there, but it doesn't matter. It's worth a try just to see if there's anything, any print or any background on there. Oh yes, look, just glorious. Look at that. That's a second generation print. I'll show you those afterwards when I've just moved the gel press out the way. And no, I won't clean my gel press. I very rarely clean my gel press. If I'm having a new session where I'm using completely different colours, what I do is I'll just add some white paint over the top and take another print just so that the gel press is clean. If you're finding that you're not getting good prints, just add a little bit of baby oil, just a tiny bit and allow it absorb, to absorb in there. Just giving that a wipe. Just wipe my brain. Just to remove some of the thick there's that many thicknesses of paint on that bray i think i'm losing the hope really so just and i've bought no kitchen roll up to my work surface so just wipe that moisture up with my card now let me just show you these wonderful backgrounds there's that one which is your second generation there's that one how glorious is that? I'll perhaps I'll make another card with that another day. And then that one that I'm going to use. Just delightful. Absolutely delightful. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my stamp set, which is called Poppy Seed Heads. I haven't used this for a while. And you know what I'm like? I do like to use the older releases. And what I'm thinking is I'm just using the image here 
and I'm thinking of stamping there and then overlaying in white. So that's what I'm going to do. You could add it this side if you wish, but I'm going to go for that side. Now, because I've not used Yupo, I don't have to worry. I can use my normal ink pads because it's totally dry and it's not a glossy surface. I love simple ways of getting around things. So I'm using my Versafine Claire ink pad. Now, obviously, you're not going to see some of this detail because of that detail on the background, but you will when I use that pop of white. So just giving that an ink. Just inking. And what I'm going to do is just grab some toilet roll. Uh, toilet roll. Just grab a little bit of a wipe. I've got different things in my mind here. So just ink up. Just give it a really good inking. Don't scrimp on the ink. And then what I'm going to do, just so that I've got no straight edges, I'm just going to use a baby wipe and I'm just going to remove some of the ink just so that I've not got any straight edges. Just so that it's just a little bit more random. That's just me, just making it a little bit more random. I like doing things like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just holding it at an angle, just so that I can see where I want this. And I think I want it um, there. And what I'm going to do is just allow that ink to sit on there. Allow the ink to rest. Give it time to soak in. I just love these backgrounds. I could do these backgrounds all day long, just lifting that acrylic block, just so that I can get this central area here, but I never remove my fingers, just so that it doesn't rock. But I love, love the detail in this stamp set. I just think it is glorious. And because we're overlaying, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Just give that a wipe. I've got something sticky on my non-stick craft sheet, like you do. You can't see much of the detail, but we're going to stamp that on the white card, because then I've got the detail in the background. If some of it peeks through, I can see some of the background, but I've also going to stamp it in the white, just so that it pops a little bit more. So I'm going to ink that stamp up again, and I don't need to worry about the edges this time because I'm only stamping part of the image. So I stamped it onto the background first, just in case any little bits popped through. So just giving that a really good inking. So this is four and a half by six and a half, and this is two and a half by six and a half. Is it two and a half? Let me just check that. You measure something and then when you come to say it live you think no it's two inches so it's two inches in width and what i'm going to do is just put it to the side a little bit so i can see what i'm doing and then stamp that so this is a stripper card that's two inches in width by the length of the card, which is six and a half inches. So just allowing that to sit on there and then just lift the acrylic block just to make sure that you've got the impression and you get this central area as well. But just allowing it to rest on there, not being in too much of a rush. Beautiful. It's just so this will go over the top <coughs> I'm so sorry about my voice this will go over the top like this just beautiful absolutely love that so before we we won't stick anything down at the moment just in case I want to add things now I just want to add some colour 
to the poppy heads. So let's bring in that gel press. And let's grab a scrap of card. And let's just, what did I do with, oh, it's just over there. And let's just add some of these colours to the gel press. So just take my blue and green and yellow one. So we'll take some of that dandelion and just add it to the background. It's actually so there's still quite a there's still quite a bit of moisture on the tool. So it's it doesn't need much. Let's just add a little bit of green. A little bit of the limeade. All I'm doing is, as if I was creating a background with Distress Oxide inks, I'm doing the same with the alcohol inks. I'm just creating a random background to stamp on. Just to give me a random, random background. And it's great because the alcohol inks just dry so quickly. If you can see it's a little bit shiny on there, just give it a couple more seconds just to dry. But it's almost instantaneous that it dries, which is just wonderful. So just where's my scrap of card? I never leave myself any space. Move these, move that. Right. So let's just... Take some of the white paint, don't need much, and let's just prime our brayer and just apply that over the top. Brayer off the excess like we did before, so there's hardly any paint on there. And then just rub that. Now this is going to just be alcohol inks blotty, just blobbed on the gel press. Nothing special. Just to give me a background to stamp on. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh god, I love it. Absolutely glorious background. That's too nice, isn't it? I'm gonna have to create a second one. Oh, that is too nice. I mean, I'm going to do another one, but just on the scrap of card. That is far too nice. Far too nice. Look at that. Oh, that is just glorious. Love, love, love. So I'm going to do it again now. I'm going to be driving you mad. So I'll just use what ink is on my ink blending, to ink blending tool, on the alcohol tool. And as you can see... There's plenty of alcohol and I'm moving it around. I'm not keeping it in one direction. I'm just moving the ink blending tool around. I can't get over that. Just look at that. That beats any Yupo background that does in my opinion. That is just glorious. Superb. I will create another card with that. Fantastic. Right, I may even use some of these background when I go on the TV at the 25th of June. So I may even do that. Absolutely glorious backgrounds. So I'm just going to blend my white paint onto the brayer and then just brayer off the excess. Just make sure you brayer off the excess paint you don't want too much of that paint on there and this I just want a little scrap of card I'll get round to stamping in a minute if I stop getting excited over backgrounds what am I like look at that just glorious glorious just wonderful Oh, you can't beat alcohol inks on the gel press. 
I've done alcohol inks on the gel press for many years. Just love them. So just doing that. I'm getting more ink, ink and paint on my fingers than I am anywhere else. Right, and what's perfect is this is completely dry. No glossiness, no nothing, it's completely dry. Just wonderful. Right, let's ink those poppy heads. We just want the poppy heads. Just give them a good ink. And just stamp them onto the alcohol ink background. Just allow that ink just to sit on there before you lift. Before you lift, give it time to soak in. There we go. So we're just going to give that a blot. Ooh. Just give that a blot. Just to make sure that that ink isn't going to smudge. And then I'm just going to cut those out. It's just the head. So I don't know why I'm going all the way down here, but that's fine. So you just want the head, the poppy head just to give it a pop of colour. There we go. Then the little one. I just love these backgrounds. And they work so well with this stamp set. So you could have a day just creating the backgrounds And I have got workshops doing this as well with the alcohol inks. It's such great fun. So we've got those poppy heads. And we're just going to add those here. Like so. They could be lanterns as well, couldn't they? they could be lanterns. But they're going to be stuck on there. I'm not sticking this down yet because I'm just umming and ahhing whether to put some little words down the, down the side. So we'll just see about that. I don't want to cover all that background up because it does seem a shame, especially when we've created such a beautiful background. You don't want to cover it all up. Then take the smaller one. And I think I know which stamp set to get next. So what we can also do just shall we highlight one of these little postage marks? So that one, I think. Let's highlight one of these little postage marks. It's just on there. Just grabbing the postage mark just giving that a blot just to make sure that we don't smudge that look at that i've got that much ink on my nails just to give it a little bit more interest and because the background seems a shame just to waste it i love doing these videos and I love, love using the older stamp sets as well because there's nothing wrong with them. They're just as inspiring as the other stamp sets. Oh yes, I love that little pop of blue there. Then what I'm going to do is reach for one of my other stamp sets. So just bear with me a second. That's the one. just going to reach for this plant your dreams i've reached for this stamp set so many times because it's got lots of words on like plant dreams all these 
It's even got the word bird you could use on its own garden. It's just such a useful stamp. Just love it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take this stamp set and I just want a piece of white card. There's a spare piece on this. Move this all out the way. So we can use that word plant or garden. Let's use the word garden. Just going to use it as is rather than using acrylic block. So just using the word garden. And the font works with all my stamp sets. Now, stamping without an acrylic block, obviously, it takes a knack because sometimes you don't stamp straight, just like Tracy did. And we don't want that, do we? We want a straight sentiment. That's better. Much better. We don't want a sentiment that's not straight. But I love that stamp set. Just find it so useful. Never stop using it. And the strelitz here on that one is amazing. So just cut this out. Let's move this piece of card out of the way. Now what you can see is I've left a little bit of a border here. That's so that I can stick it underneath because it will go underneath here. So I'm going to take this and just adhere that. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to press it down. I'm not going to press that down too much, just so that I can stick this underneath. Just so that can... I'm all fingers and thumbs here. There we go. Just so that can go underneath there. Like that. Then I'll just grab a piece of scrap paper and just press that down. Just so that it sticks. There we go. Just so that you can see that. Just look at those glorious colours. Oh, just lovely. Right. Just going to grab my ink tense pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of ink tense around this garden sentiment here, around there, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my poppy seed head, go around that just to give it a little bit. I'll just add a little bit just down this side just to give it a little bit of shading around this little postcard. I'm getting engrossed now. Just go around this one as well. And then just go down this edge. And let's do a little bit. Let's get my water. And let's just move out that. And you see, I'm not working on glossy card with the alcohol inks. I'm just working on normal, smooth pink frog card. So I can blend out all my usual things. So just going around, just around the poppy seed head. And just go down here, just to give it a little bit of shading just so that pops a little bit more. So just take your time and go around there like so. Got this little head as well. I tend to move my card because it just makes it a little bit easier for me to work. And if I just add shading down this edge just makes it look a little bit more 3D for me. Just go around here. 
Oh yes, just lovely. Absolutely lovely. Just soak that water up with my card because I've got no kitchen roll. Just look, look at that. Just gorgeous. Cards, mixed media, journal pages, they just make me happy. Just an hour, just to, just time away. And it's just such a pleasure having time away from the usual thing. So I absolutely love it. It's just a pleasure to create. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take a piece of black card and just mount it on the black card. So just using a PVA glue, mounting this to a black mat that is a quarter of an inch bigger. Just add that there. Oh, it just pops. Just make sure your work area is clean or put a piece of copy of paper down. Just add that. Place that down. Like so. Just so that you can see this. Just look at the delicious colours and background. And if you want, what you can do is you can take your background you've created before and place that on the inside of your card. Just so it all coordinates. So you could do that as well. Just stick mine down. Just going to get an index clip. And what I've got is I've got these um, miniature marquee things. Now, if we can find the letter P, Oh, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can just put these back. So I've got the letter P for Poppy. It's the name of my dog. So just grab these. If you didn't want the P, you could use a number. Just grab these, just put these back or else we'll be in a right mess. So just place them back. And then we can add the letter P to our project. So you can either put it down the bottom or you can put it here, which is where I'm going to put it. Let me just... No, it looks nice there. But you know, I spend my life faffing. But I just love doing it. I love a good faff. And just place that down there. Oh, I just love this card. There we go my index clip there and that is your card finished and looking at that through camera just gorgeous just so you can see that look at that background but look at those poppy heads stunning I just love them I'm so chuffed with that simple card Simple technique, but look at the results. Just love them. Absolutely love them. And then you've still got these backgrounds that we created for another cards. So I hope you enjoyed that. Nice, quick video, but effective techniques. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you tag me in your makes on Facebook or in my 
Facebook group that's called Tracy Evans Craft Addicts Create, Inspire, Share. So if you want to join the group, you can. We all share lots of different ideas. So I'd love to see you there. And I've got lots of workshops as well, all advertised in the group. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you have a lovely day. It's beautiful out there. It really does lift the spirits. Love to all and thank you everybody for your support. Bye for now.